Hi there, greetings to all our family and friends around the world. We're well and we pray that you are too. Uh, I'm going to be bringing these little videos to a conclusion. We've been looking at the lessons that we've been learning coming out of lockdown and uh, we've looked at things like thanksgiving, that we're to be a thankful people even under difficult circumstances. We've looked at the importance of rest and sitting down at Jesus' feet. Then we've looked at this sense of gazing into the face of Jesus, being a people who are captivated by the love of Jesus. And I want to end this series on lockdown by talking about something you might find unusual, but actually for those of us who've been through difficult times, this lockdown, it has not been unusual at all. And that is the biblical place for lament, for being sorrowful for grieving and it's been fascinating to me as I've been reading through the Psalms this year how many Psalms really do express sorrow and trouble and difficulty and I think sometimes in our singing of songs because the Psalms is really the the hymn book of the the Bible it's the only book of the Bible that's addressed directly to God rather than from God directly to us and so often the Psalms have sorrow have lament, have grief in them. And I think some of our songs, we tend to cut that out. We cut and paste just the good bits. And it's interesting as you read through the Psalms, how often sorrow and grief and lament comes in. It was interesting, I was at a conference a few weeks ago that Andrew Wilson hosts every year called the Think Theology Conference. It's fantastic to be there to uh, imbibe from great Bible teachers. And this year, our teacher was Peter Lightheart from the States. And again, he was saying, we don't really look into the Psalms and take our songs from the Psalms in terms of their fullness. We cut and paste just the bits we like. I've been very impressed by N.T. Wright's book, uh, The Case for the Psalms, and uh, he makes a strong case for lamenting psalms. It's interesting, even just reading this morning, Psalm 42, it says, why am I so downcast and uh, why am I distressed? Why, am I, why, why do I feel like this? But then it goes on to say, but I'm going to put my trust in God. I'm going to put my hope in God. I will yet praise him. And the psalms so often take us on this journey of grief, and sorrow expressed, but then lead us to trust and faith and the faithfulness of God. And I just want to encourage you, you, you may be like me, I've, I've been through some very difficult times this year. Uh, we've lost some loved ones. Uh, family members are really sick and uh, really unwell. Friends have lost loved ones. Uh, a dear friend of mine has stepped out of ministry because of a, a particular sin issue. These things have brought great sorrow, great sadness into my life. But it's when I look into the Psalms, it's when I find that it's okay to be grieving. It's okay to be sorrowful. Jesus it said in Isaiah, he said he was a man of sorrow. So he wept at the tomb of Lazarus and in the garden of Gethsemane, there was like great tears, like great sweat of blood. And he was crying out to God. Yeah, he was a man of joy anointed with joy above his fellows, but yet he was a man of sorrows as well. And it's important that we experience and explore the full range of human emotions. And the Psalms really does that for me. So my last lesson of lockdown is don't forget the Psalms. Don't forget grief. Don't forget sorrow expressed. I think it's something like 16 times. How long, O oh Lord? comes through that psalm. That's been our prayer this year, hasn't it? How long, O oh Lord, will we be locked down? How long, O oh Lord, will we be pressed down? And many of you I know are going through difficulties and trials, sicknesses, sufferings, all sorts of difficulties. Use the psalms to express your sorrow, to express your grief, but also allow the psalm then to lift your eyes from yourself to the Lord to see his goodness and to see his faithfulness. Dear friends, we send you our love wherever you are in the world. God bless you. I pray that as we step out of these lockdown situations, and I know it's very different in different parts of the world, I pray that we'll be able to shine like lights. I pray that God will give us evangelistic opportunity to be those who declare and display his glory actually to a grieving world. 
actually to a world full of sorrow that we can express God's love and God's faithfulness. God bless you.